Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle and today we are gonna go through all of the current yarn hauls. Uh, oh, dear lord me. Uh, my desk is full. Uh, I've been to a Christmas market and I went to a pop-up shop. Um, and I went to my local yarn store, as well as I got a few things that I bought online. <sighs> yeah, I have a lot, okay? Don't judge me. Most of these, or like, a few of these are gonna become Christmas slash birthday gifts. And yeah, let's... Uh, okay. I'm not gonna show any advent calendars, so yeah, this is strictly from, I don't know, late October to now? Today is December 3rd, so yeah, the Christmas market was last weekend of November, so last week I have gotten a few stuff. since the market but that's about it okay so let's go through the stuff i got from my later latest knitter box box so that is the november box and in that one i got hand dyed yarn from them so you got their merino with stolina uh, fingering weight and then we got a hand-dyed mohair to go with it. Uh, and I have the colorful box, so mine is pink and purple and white. And I'm thinking about making my cousin a Oslo hat, maybe? Uh, she's celebrating her birthday Sunday next week, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it finished by then. But... Yeah, I'm hoping to have it done. Uh, so yeah, she will get this because I have enough pinks and purples. Uh, looking at my desk, I just bought a ton more of purples and pinks. So yeah, um, I am okay to knit this up for her uh, as a present. So that's the first, first, um, oh, here. First item. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Then we're gonna go to the pop-up shop I went to. And it was a Stikesilla pop-up shop. And they had a ton of different yarn. Uh, and one of them was Glykigarn. And I bought this skein uh, from Glykigarn. And this is the Superwash Merino. It's not fingering weight, it's just a normal one in the color Winter. This is gonna be a hipster beanie for my bestie uh, for, well, Christmas birthday. She has her birthday on New Year's Eve, so she will get this one with something else, of course. Um, but I am probably gonna start knitting on this after Christmas Eve. Um, because a beanie doesn't take that long to knit, so yeah, that's for her. Uh, then I went to my lo local store, and they carry knitter's box. Um, I did buy some other yarns as well, I'm just currently knitting with them, so I don't want to bring them up. Um, but I bought two hand skein, uh, hand skein hand dyed yarns from Knitter's Box, uh, called Mood, M-U-D, and Rusty. So this is Rusty, this is Mood, uh, this is their Merino, um, and these are 100 grams, 225 meters. So these will become socks, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I do think maybe the grey one for my mom and this brown one for my brother. Um, uh, with some uh, 
contrasting color for cuff toes and heels because he has big feet and I need most of these for legs and foot. Uh, so yeah, my mom has smaller feet, feet, foot than me, so this will be enough, but I do think I will pair it up with something as well. Um, so yeah, these will be socks for Christmas and birthday, because my mom has her birthday in January. Um, so yeah. Then the last thing I got, uh... That's not from the Christmas market is the October yarn from Through the Water of Yarn Co. And it's this, I have the mini skeins set. Uh, this is Pied Piper. Uh, each of these are 80 meters or 20 grams. 75, 25 superwash nylon. Uh, this is so cute. These will go into my three blankets. I have two Battenberg blankets, one with uh, three rounds and one with four rounds uh, the around the center. And then I have my cozy memories as well. Um, the bigger Battenberg will go to my mom. I will keep the smaller one and I will of course keep the cozy memories. Uh, and for those three, I use up about 10 grams, so half of this, uh, and the rest will probably go to maybe a fourth blanket or a some socks or something. So that's the plan with those. Um, okay, Christmas market. I went with uh, my friends and a friend of a friend. Uh, really nice. We were a total of four girls going this time. Usually it's only me and my bestie. Uh, but she brought her friend that I'm now calling my friend. Uh, because we have been hanging out and having fun. And she's been sitting model for me for school a few times. Uh, so yeah, she's my friend now. And she brought her friend again, who's also a knitter. So... Yeah, we have two straight up knitters. We have me who's both a knitter and somewhat of a crocheter, a new, a beginner crocheter. And then my bestie who's just a crocheter. Uh, really fun. We will most likely have some knit nights, uh, yarn nights, girl nights uh, when I move to Oslo. Um, because we live closer to, um, like, my best friend lives longer into the other side of Oslo, even though I can see her from my windows. Uh, so for my friend and her friend, it's just easier to get to me. It takes like 10 minutes less uh, of driving and stuff. So yeah, we will probably have some girl girls nights um, once or twice a month or something. It will be a ton of fun. Um, and I'm pretty sure I will get a yarn swift like this, um, where you can cake up your yarn, um, because my mom sent me three pictures, you want this, this or this one, and two of the other, two of the, the two last pictures were just some to put your yarn on, to hold your yarn. So it doesn't roll away. So I will get the yarn swift for either birthday or Christmas. And I'm the only one who will have one. So I will probably get visits from now and then. Uh, from my knitter friends. Because of that as well. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I'm sick and tired of hand winding up my yarn. Um, so yeah. But Christmas market, I bought way more than I should. And I would probably have bought more if uh, Through the Water Bjorn Co. was there, but she wasn't Selena. Um, but I did get my advent calendar. I bought it last minute. I have it. I haven't opened it yet, even though we are on December 3rd. So, 
<laughs> I'm actually gonna make a blanket out of uh, that um, advent calendar because there's 20 gram minis in each of them so yeah it will be a blanket and it's fade of pinks and I love pinks yeah enough about that okay um uh, where should we start where should we start okay we're gonna start with Ricky Garn uh, I bought only two skeins um and one I already have two of but in fingering weight merino and this is her normal merino this was the august box uh, from her and i'm gonna make a uh, sophie shawl out of this uh, and now that i have the normal merino i can hold the two fingering weight merinos together and then just add a uh, Maybe I don't need to add anything, but I think I might add a lace weight yarn with it. Just white or something. Um, I want to try the new... Um, uh, what's it called? Is it Sunness Garn Alpaca Fingering Lace Weight Yarn instead of a mohair. Um, so yeah. That is my plan. And that will give me, I think, the smallest of the Sophie shawls. Because I then have 200 grams. But I will have more length in the fingering weight ones, because those are longer than this one. So I don't know. I need to do some math on that, but yeah. That's the plan with... This colorway is just a really nice colorway with like some mainly white and pink, but then you have some gray. And when you add the pink on top, it kind of looks lilac y. Uh, really nice. I really do enjoy Glicky Garn. She has amazing color stories. And then I did buy more pinks, as I said. This is the same uh, yarn base, but in the color Barbie. Uh, so more bright pink, more pinks, and more dark grey specks. Uh, so this will become a hat, I believe, is the plan. Or, uh, yeah, I think a hat is the best option. I'm gonna make a lot of hats and a lot of socks. Um, then I went, or I'm not going in order actually. Next one is from Fabri Knitwear. I bought just a hank skein of mohair. This is called... I don't know. I cannot read this. But it's a really pretty purple. I bought this because of this skein right here. Um, I don't like that it doesn't have like a tag on it um but this is so stunning this is single ply merino i'm pretty sure it's really soft it's really squishy and i want to hold these together to make a hipster beanie uh, because i do feel like it's more of a normal merino than a fingering weight uh, I couldn't find any info on their website, um, but yeah, I just had to have this one skein for a beanie for myself. Uh, so again, this might be after Christmas, after I'm done with all of my Christmas presents kind of knit. So yeah, that's those two. <sighs> then I bought another pink sock set. Of course, uh, I don't remember which dyer this was from, uh, but this is kind of similar to the set I bought from Through the Water Bjorn Co. back in September, October, on the autumn market. Uh, but you know me, um, this will be a nice sock knit. 
I believe. And uh, I am thinking about holding it together with a gray or a white to make it DK socks. Because I'm really into knitting DK socks lately. It takes so much less time than fingering weight socks. Uh, but this is a 80-20 superwash nylon. And this is 100 grams, 365 meters. Uh, recommended needle size is 2 to 3.5 depending on what you're knitting, of course. So yeah, I do think holding it with a gray or a white and knitting, in, knitting it on a 3.25 millimeter is gonna be awesome. Um, or maybe a black, because I do have a black. No, not black. Uh, but yeah, so that's that one. Okay, let's do knitter's box. I bought two fingering weight merino skeins um, with Selena, of course. I'm gonna make a second hipster beanie out of this one. I think it will look quite fun. This is called Ventetid or Waiting Time. Um, because of Christmas, you're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, you know. So that's the plan with this one. I really do enjoy this color. It's stunning. Um, I'm getting out of room. Then I bought one skein of their normal merino called Christmas is Coming. Uh, this is a really, really nice purple. I love this one as well. Uh, but this will become socks for me. Um, DK socks. And maybe I will do a pop of color for heel cups and toes. Um, so yeah, with something. Maybe a pink, maybe a blue. Not blue, but something else. Last thing I bought from Knitter's Box was their Christmas bundle, uh, where they have five mini skeins. Um, I'm not sure if this is their... Yeah, this is their normal merino. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like this. And here's all of the colors. All Christmas themed, of course. So, you have five mini skeins, each of them of 20 grams. So, you have 100 grams. Um, so, yeah, that's... Gonna be some socks fun Christmassy socks. Then lastly we have Lille and Hille. You know I love Lille and Hille. She has awesome colors. So I ended up with three sets from her. So I ended up with 12 skeins. Uh, but all of them are 50 gram skeins. So I believe. Yeah. All of them are 50 gram skeins. And only are merino. So let's start with that one. And that is the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. Uh, oh, these are so good. My bestie bought two 100 gram skeins of this one, which is Christmas Town. Um, really, really awesome. Uh, so yeah, you have this black Christmas Town, this green, and this kind of summery color. Um, I don't think I've seen Nightmare Before Christmas. So this doesn't say much to me, but I just enjoy the color story of these. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure what this will become. But I kind of want to make some mittens with this black and this green. Just hold it with a white, do some color work, uh, since it's 50 grams. Speaking of mittens, I bought a mitten set, and this is Highland Wool, so it will be new to me yarn base. This is Peruvian Highland Wool, 100%. Um, this didn't come with a colorway. 
Uh, but yeah, this is really pretty. I'm gonna make some mittens for my mom for her birthday, I believe. Um, really, really nice. Uh, really bright orange. So, really fun. And then again, we have the Highland wool. And this is her uh, neon rainbow set. Um, so, I am thinking of maybe doing a sweater with this. Uh, because each of these are 50 grams so yeah I might hold it together with a white one so it doesn't become so neon -y, but I need to find a sweater I want to knit with this um, so yeah that is my plan at least a sweater I don't think I want a t-shirt with Highland wool. I think a sweater is good and a bit chunkier one so that I can get a t-shirt underneath uh, because I don't like wool that's itching and Highland wool is a bit itchy before you wash it uh, and use it. Uh, it will become nicer with use and washing. So... In the beginning, I'm pretty sure I will need something underneath. Um, so yeah, that is the insanity of November and October, pretty much. Um, and then I do have two Advent calendars. One that's every Sunday, Advent style, and then one for every single day from 1st of December until 24th, I believe. Um, so yeah, I I have the pink and purple version of the knitter, Knitter's Box, uh, Fingering Weight Merino and Mohair. Um, that's what I wanted. Um, so, and then the Through the Water of Yarnco is a fade of pink. So we have a lot of pinks and purples to go on. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I have brought in over the past, I don't know, six, seven weeks. I haven't knitted nearly as much as I've brought in. Uh, I'm pretty sure my yarn stash is over 200 skeins at this point, which is not good. And I'm also waiting for from for some yarn from Lykigar. I'm waiting for the November box and the December box, which will be six more skeins. And I'm waiting for two skeins from Through the Water of Yarn Co. and November and December in monthly boxes. And then I'm also waiting for the Knitter's Box um, December box and I did purchase three more skeins from Knitter's Box that I'm gonna knit a Sophie shawl with as well. <laughs> yeah, I need to go on a yarn ban from now until we move. Uh, I know I will be getting some yarn for birthday, some more sock yarn. Um, from my new friend, uh, or a new-ish friend uh, that I've been talking about. We went to the Christmas market together, um, so I know I will be getting two or three balls of yarn from her, from the new um, Sobness Sock Yarn, uh, which I cannot wait, and I don't know which color she's going to pick up. Which will be interesting because she sat model for me last week when I'm filming this, so late November. Um, and she was like, okay, we're going to the market on Saturday. Uh, so my birthday gift to you is to pick out yarn that you want. Uh, so I was thinking about it on the Friday and on the Saturday, and I thought it would be kind of 
fun to see um, like which colors she would pick out for me. So I said that to her and so she will be picking out colors. Uh, but I gave her like the spectrum of sock knitting because I love socks and I want to knit socks and just continue on socks. So yeah, um, so that's my plan. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot of knitting on my few days off for Christmas and New Year's. And uh, that's what I'm mostly gonna do, knit and crochet and just chill and do some schoolwork, of course. Um, maybe I will take a day or two extra off um, so yeah, but we will see. Um, I will make a video all about my plans for December. So I think that will go up next, actually, or I will film that one next. I don't know which one will go up first. Uh, but yeah, that is my plan. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I will see you again in my next video. Bye!